Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be doing a quick guide and tutorial on the really weapons regarding the bow today. So the bow is actually going to be one of those really weapons that has a bunch of different abilities, like like every other you know weapon. We have six abilities to choose from, and the bow is looking like it has a bunch of great options to choose from. So first off, we have the Evade Shot. We're going to also have the Rain of Arrows, and we're going to have the Poison Shot to start off. So we're actually going to take a look at these three abilities. Evade Shot being the first one, leaping back 5 meters, and shoot an arrow dealing 125% weapon damage. We also have the Rain of Arrows, shoot a barrage of 7 arrows, uh, or arrows really 7 meters wide, that deals 150% weapon damage. And then that Poison Shot, so shoot a Poison Arrow that on hit or land creates a cloud of poison three meters wide that lasts six seconds foes entering the cloud are poison dealing 10 percent weapon damage per second for 20 seconds i will say guys we're not going to be jumping into the passives today under skirmisher and hunter we're just going to go through these six active abilities but there are some great great combos that you can do with poison shot as well as so many other uh you know abilities in this guide so you know, in the future, I will be doing guides for certain PvP builds as well as PvE builds. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to like you said, like I said previously in, uh, in you know, other videos, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video. But, you know, if we can see here, we have the battle precision, debuff and damage over time durations last 20% longer. Add that onto that 20 second, uh, 20 second poison shot. It's going to be obviously very, very strong. So let's start off with these three, and then we'll go to the right side, and we see penetrating shot, shoot an arrow dealing 150% weapon damage that passes through targets and continues for 100 meters. We have the splinter shot, so shoot an arrow out 10 meters. It then splits into three arrows dealing 50% weapon damage, and we have the rapid shot, so shoot three consecutive arrows, the first two dealing 100% weapon damage each, and the last shot causes a knockback and deals 125% weapon damage. So a lot of these uh, you know, do focus on damage output, not much CC involved with these um you know we do see some knockbacks and things but we're going to focus on mobility and damage mostly with most bow builds you're going to find that's uh, the case so let's start off with this left side of things we're going to start with the evade shot we're going to start with the rain of arrows and the poison shot so this is going to be our first build that we're going to look into so the evade shot's actually very very easy to shoot so one thing you'll notice before we get started is if you shoot a body shot so i hit 960 headshots obviously doing more damage um, you'll see a 734 there, and here you'll see a 565. So you'll see at the headshot, 12, uh, 1248, and then a body shot, 565. So you have to keep that in mind, obviously, as well, if you just do a light attack. Um, so if I don't hold it down, you'll get a 560. Did I not hold it down on that 550? Okay, let's hold it all the way down. So 960, like I said, is the the base attack. If I hold it all the way down, do a heavy attack, 960 on the body. If I hold it all the way down, do a heavy uh, attack on the top, we get a 1248. So you can see there's a lot of difference there in damage, but if you are going to be in the middle of a fight, sometimes you're not going to be able to shoot uh, or hold it down all the way, as I missed the dummy altogether right there. But I do want to take a look at what I'm using currently. Uh, you know, pretty much just 550 gear score all around, nothing special. And also, if you take a look here, um, you know, it's attributes wise. We are just running a very, very balanced build. So nothing special in the attributes section. So don't expect huge damage numbers, but this is all about just understanding each and every weapon and seeing all of their abilities in use. So evade shot to start off. You can see how it's actually very, very easy to shoot the evade shot. Um, it's one of the easiest abilities to actually use on the uh, bow altogether. We can shoot the rain of arrows now. You can actually put it on both of these and uh, we'll see the damage come down. So 706 is the damage that just came out. And if we do, let's do the poison shot in the middle. Let's just hit this one and maybe it'll spread out and hit the others as well. So it's not enough range to actually hit these as well. But you can see the damage ticking there, 48 per second. Just absolutely massive. For 20 seconds long, it's going to do 40 da 48 damage. It's just very, very, very strong. And like I said, it's stronger even when you hit that poison shot on the target as well. Let's do another evade shot. And like I said, evade shot's one of those very, very easy to hit as I just missed and spread the uprights because I couldn't decide what I was doing. But, you know, the Reign of Arrows yet again coming out. A very, very strong ability for PvE. Most likely not going to be used in any form or fashion in solo pvp or duels but maybe in you know some group pvp so here's the evade shot again backing up it gives you a great little uh mobility there and i also want to show you guys what happens if you shoot the ground right beside it still does that 48 tick just not going to do the initial damage on that enemy so it's very very strong can be uh definitely a 
game changer in PvP. Let's do Reign of Arrows one more time, Evade Shout one more time, and we'll switch those weapon or the weapon abilities up here now. So jumping back, we can actually go through to the bow, and let's go right on back over to the rapid shot, the penetrating shot, and the splinter shot. So start off, we have the um, the rapid shot, we have the penetrating shot, we have the uh, splinter shot. And I'm going to have to wait for these cooldowns to come back up. There are some longer cooldowns because they are very, very strong abilities, rain of arrows and uh, poison shot, that is. Um, but let's start out with, like I said, that rapid shot being on our Q. We have the splinter shot on our F, I believe. And uh, let's see here. What do we want this one to be? This is going to be the penetrating. So first off, we are going to have the rapid shot. So it's going to do the three shots very, very quickly. A lot of damage coming out there, by the way, with rapid shot. The one thing to note is they are fairly hard to hit. If they, you know, the target sees that you're standing still, they're just going to use all their dashes. They're going to use their shield to block. The one thing to note as well is with the rapid shot, if they're playing, maybe you're playing against an ice gauntlet or a fire staff, they're going to be able to obviously hit you very, very easily with their auto attacks or their abilities while you're standing still. So not a great, great concept in PvP to be just standing still in, during, you know, 1v1s or duels. But the cool thing about the penetrating shot now as well, penetrating shot is a very, very fast one to get up and going. So we're going to do the rapid shot again. Obviously, like I said, you stand still the entire time, can't cancel it as well. We're also going to use the, um, what I, what was this one exactly called again? I don't use this one too much. I do like the ability Splinter Shot, um, but I haven't used it too much myself quite yet. But the Splinter Shot is going to be the um, the option of basically getting an automatic hit if they're close to you. Uh, but this is the one I love the most right now that this set that we are currently in is the, ra or what was it called? The Penetrating Shot. Because look how quickly you can actually get this out. Let's say we're running from a foe or an enemy. We're going to be able to just hit R. It's already pulled up and you can just left click. Very, very fast, very easy to hit. And then, like I said, here's the splinter shot in action again. And then the rapid shot as well. So you can see the damage coming out there. Very, very fast damage if you can hit all three abilities. Just not going to be, you know, the easiest thing to hit against a uh, solid enemy. But, you know, a lot of different options when it comes to the bow. And a lot of different mobility as well as damage that you can actually go with. Uh, you know, like I said, there's a lot of great different kind of combos you can go. And I will have different builds that I will bring up to you guys here in the future of this channel so if you guys want to stay tuned for different kind of bow builds as we get going with this uh you know release of new world make sure to subscribe to the channel turn notifications on and like the video i want to show you guys all three abilities real quick again so there's that rapid shot as i missed the last ability we have the penetrating shot very very quick release and then obviously like i said that splinter shot as well so um so i hit there even though i was aiming here if you i don't know if you guys saw that i was aiming to the left of the dummy and i still hit my splinter shot just a very very easy one to hit just not a ton of damage out of the splinter shot which is you know one reason I don't use it personally, um, but you can see the rapid shot doing a lot of damage, and obviously, like I said, that penetrating shot as well. So that's going to be a quick overview of all of the abilities featuring the bow today. Like I said, there's a lot of other weapons to go cover today. We are not today, but yet we have the spear, great axe, warhammer, fire axe, or sorry, fire staff, not a fire axe, but fire staff, life staff, and ice gauntlet, and as well as that musket. So a lot of different uh, really abilities to cover yet. So Stay tuned to the channel if you guys want to learn about every single ability in the game. It's going to help you guys through duels as well as PvP in general to understand every single weapon that you're going up against, how to actually counter it, and understanding what each one of their abilities does. As like I said, during the rapid shot, you can actually not cancel it. You can't dodge out of it. So, uh, you know, some things like that are just definitely good to know and uh, good to see as well. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you all in the next one.